She's a personal stylist geared towards helping take the mental load out of getting dressed. She works with clients to determine their personal style, body shape, and colors to find the absolute best pieces to elevate their everyday style. Here to tell us more is wardrobe consultant with Shop the City, Sarah Brandt. Sarah, thanks for joining me here at Live in the Bay. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, of course. I'm so excited to talk about um, fashion and just you being a stylist, but give me an overall view of what is Shop the City. Shop the City is a wardrobe consulting agency that helps you go from confused to confident with your style. So if you are looking at your closet and you're overwhelmed, you feel like nothing suits who you are right now, maybe you've gone through a big life transition like post-pandemic you're not working in the office anymore or you've had a family or anything else that may have happened to you, it's time to reassess where you are with your wardrobe and kind of find who you are now and how you want to show up as yourself. How did you get for, first get started as a stylist and kind of get into all of this? So I have a background in fashion with a degree in fashion merchandising and my visual merchandising. And then I worked in corporate buying as a corporate buyer for a few retailers. I was living in Washington, D.C., which is not the most sartorially inclined city. And thinking to myself, I feel like these clients could really use a little bit of help getting out of their rut and getting out of this kind of suits and pantsuits looks. And so I started my business, Shop the City, over there and then moved over to the West Coast and have really come into really helping these people get out of casual techie style into something that feels a little more elevated. For anyone that is watching and they're thinking, that is me, hello, that is me. I get stressed choosing out my outfits. I feel like putting outfits together comes natural for some, not as natural for me. So where do people get started if they think, you know, I need a, a wardrobe refresh, I need to recreate my look, where do people start? They start by hiring me, hopefully. <laughs> and all of my sessions begin with a comprehensive style assessment where we go through a bunch of images and really kind of hone in on what is speaking to them, what isn't speaking to them, what their personal boundaries are, what feels aspirational versus comfortable, and really starting to put together what their personal style pillars are going to be so that when we're shopping for them or putting together outfits, we can make things that really feel like them. And so is there, would you say, kind of a base of things that people should, you know, have in their closet? Or does that kind of differ based on everyone's style? It definitely differs between everyone's style. But I'd say right now, having a solid white t-shirt that you keep white, always recommend that you update your whites about every six months or so just to keep them looking fresh. Crisp. Yeah. As well as a good oversized blazer and some good jeans that aren't skinny and maybe on the wider leg side. Something that fits you well and makes you feel confident. Okay. Love that. Well, we are going to talk about uh, wedding season coming up. People need to plan their wedding outfits. And so we have a couple of looks that we're going to get into. But um, thinking about wedding season, what should people keep in mind when they're picking out their outfits? Definitely keep in mind the couple that's getting married. What is their style? What is their lifestyle? What is the venue and the location of the wedding? And what does the dress code say? Keeping all of that in mind to go into it saying that like you're dressing for someone else's dress code, but also how can you make it a little bit more about you and making sure that you feel comfortable and confident? Okay, well, we have three gorgeous models standing by, so let's bring in our first look and uh, talk to me about this one, Sarah. So this is Lauren. She is going to a cocktail wedding. So with cocktail, you can be a little bit more casual and play up some of the trends. So we're playing up the sheer trend and the floral appliques right now. We're playing with color a lot. Powder blue is gonna be huge come fall. And then I paired it with the complimentary yellow shoes that also are just like really playful and a statement. Yeah, I love those yellow shoes giving a pop of color where we can catch it there right on our camera there. Um, but I think that that really elevates the dress. That's kind of a, a wow factor there. Exactly. You could go with a basic black pump or another kitten heel, but doing something a little bolder helps balance out the dress and really make it so that you're showing up to shine. Okay, love that. Well, thank you so much for that first look. Let's bring up our next model. So this is Angie. She is going to a black tie wedding. And so with black tie, I think you can either go really big with the dress and do a fun print or simplicé pleats. But for Angie, I wanted to keep it simple and then go a little bit more glam and trendy with the accessories. So she's got a beautiful little necklace on, some cute blocky kitten heels for absolute comfort. 
And then the really trendy teardrop earrings, which are so cute, and you can wear them any with almost any outfit. Yes, I think um, with this one, I love all the gold accessories that you did. And I have a question because I have a black tie wedding coming up and somebody asked me, does the dress have to be floor length for a black tie? I think you should definitely check with the bride. I think T length or like, you know, a mid calf length is absolutely appropriate depending on the fit of the dress. Okay, perfect. Love that. Let's bring in our next model. So this Sarah, is talk to me about this one. So this is Wendy. She is the mother of the groom or bride. And she's, you know, like most mothers, a little bit more conscientious of her arms. So we wanted to keep that a little bit covered. And then with some of my older clients, I love putting them in some sequins and some glam. It helps them feel a little bit more fun as well as helps to brighten the face and make it kind of shine a little bit. Well, Sarah, all of these looks are beautiful. Great job. And, you know, just thank you for the tips as well. When people are thinking about their outfits, it's it sometimes can be a little bit overwhelming. So thank you so much for all of the tips for all of the looks. And if anyone is thinking that they would love to work with you, where can people get more information? My website is shopthe.city, no .com or .org. Um, and you can get a lot of information right there about my different services or reach out to me directly on social media at Shop the City. Awesome, Sarah, this was so much fun, thank you. Thank you so much.